Hi guys, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's video we are going to have a quick look at the gaming performance of the all new Moto G 2nd generation. Now before we go ahead and dive into the uh, all the 5 games that you see out there, let's do a quick uh, benchmarking review of the device. So here we have the 3D Mark iStrom uh, and as you can see that the frame rates are pretty decent. Uh, we have uh, a range of like 19 to 28 of an FPS which is pretty good of for a device of uh, this range. Now I'll be just uh, go ahead and fast forward this uh, particular demo and skip to the end results and see how the score goes on. So as you can see that the score is around uh, 5636 and which is pretty decent for a device of this range and uh, it's, it's, it's a great overall scroll uh, really. So let's go ahead and see how the game uh, performances are on the device. Now the first game that I have out here is the Temple Run 2 and as you can see that uh, the gameplay is very smooth I don't see any lags and uh, frame skips uh, anywhere uh, throughout the game the all the elements are, are loading um, properly and overall a smooth and a decent uh, gameplay for a low-end game like Temple Run now moving on to our second game that is the Service Surfer now whenever I used to start a new game and I used to get these kind of lags uh, wherein the frame uh, used to skip and uh, that was the reason I had to restart the game but from the uh, second uh, or the third game onwards the lag uh, used to fix and the gameplay uh, was entirely smooth. Now. I have no clue why uh, those uh, there were some of the frame rates uh, a low frame rate at the beginning uh, might be because uh, it used to load the elements but uh, as you can see that after the initial lag I don't uh, have any other uh, problem whatsoever with the service surfer now the third game I have out here is the air attack HD which is a bit of a 3d game uh, the air combat game with a bit of a physics involved uh, while in the gameplay now as you can see that the gameplay is very smooth indeed and I don't uh, get any frame lags the front speakers are amazing and they add to the gaming experience now these were some of the light uh, games that I have been playing on the Moto G now let's go ahead and get started with some of the high-end games out there now the next game we have out here is the Dead Trigger 2, an amazing first person shooter game with a lot of graphics involved. Now as you can see that uh, I had no problem playing the game. The controls were smooth, there was no frame, uh, frame drops and it was even better than the Service Surfer which had uh, some lags even though uh, it was on a lower graphic scale. As I already mentioned, the sound coming out from this front speaker, it, it adds to the device and the fact that the game takes up the whole 5-inch uh, display and there are no 
soft keys uh, that are visible throughout um, in the game adds to the uh, quality of uh, the gaming now let's go ahead and move to the last and final game that is the asphalt 8 now talking about the asphalt we have played the game in uh, the highest and the lowest settings and the highest settings we did uh, face some occasional frame lags uh, while playing the game but in the lower settings everything was perfectly fine and we didn't even get a single frame lag now for a device of this price it is too much to ask for and yes i am pretty satisfied by the overall gaming experience of this uh, phone it doesn't heat up a lot uh, the battery life is indeed go uh, good and the front speakers as I already mentioned twice they add to your gaming experience so yes if you are looking for a device in just about 13k in which you can play all the latest games without any um, problem it's a go for so if you have any uh, uh, doubts do ask them in the comment section if you like my first don't forget to press the thumbs up button and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already thank you for watching bye bye